All right, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be going over the market. What is currently going on? I mean, you got the market dropping like a like a cannonball to the bottom of the ocean. You're bringing down all your favorite stocks as well, but then at the end of the day, you start to bounce. How do you know this is going to happen? Can you see what's going on tomorrow and what are the money making opportunities to end this week like subscribe do what you gotta do let's get to it now going into the day you had president biden coming out talking about covid vaccine saying that what are we gonna do when the next variant hits and we don't have enough money to purchase the vaccine as a government biden we are literally in the middle of a crisis potential world war situation and you're worried on a virus that's literally stagnant I mean, what's going on? Relax, guys, relax. Meanwhile, back in Stockland, we come back and we can see we're actually having one of the worst days in the past few weeks, two weeks, give or take, coming down from roughly 461.6 all the way down to about 456, almost, you know, a percent and a half day to the downside. Now, you start to get that really nice bounce at the end of the day. And this is what we're going to break down what's exactly going on with the market and i really like how we're ending today so going into today this is what was going on in my opinion you were making higher lows going into yesterday that's worth mentioning you did have a little bit of a dip yesterday but you ended very strong kind of like how you ended today except it was for a much shorter period of time the key resistance is going to be the two daily levels your wednesday level and then going into Tuesday as well, those are going to be your resistance levels right here, about 460.4 down to about 460 flat. Now, what happened, you came, you kept bouncing, give or take, and you were moving down on low volume. If you haven't watched the educational videos and you want to understand a little bit more about how I chart and how I find these key levels, I recommend doing so. I keep them very short, sweet to the point, but I also do explain them here as well just a little bit quicker. So as you can see, you're breaking down on low volume. You can see that volume stagnating right there all day long, basically in the morning. And then about lunchtime hits, you get rejected off that dead level right there. And the volume starts to creep back up right here, indicating it's going to get kind of yucky. Uh, from that level, you break below, volume keep, continues to increase, and you find those lows at the support, breaking a little bit below. But ultimately, in that area, we had March around 457 flat, all the way up to 457.6, roughly your support block, and you're bouncing up from there. Key levels I want to mention going on are going to be your break of that higher low right there. And then obviously the rejection of the daily level there. That was big on NASDAQ. I think you are looking very strong going into tomorrow. I love the bounce you're getting. But again, we won't really know until we open up tomorrow morning. So I'll have more updates going on Twitter as well. Now, I want to go over the NASDAQ really quick as well, going over tech and things going on there. This was more interesting. So you have this big area of resistance I've had marked out for the past few days as well. It's going to be a very big struggle to get above, but you also have that resistance down here that you continue to hold above as well. And it's looking really strong. You've seen it retested once, twice, almost here, and then basically right here again. So almost give or take three, three and a half times, whatever you want to consider it. And you're getting strong buying power from that range. And you can see as well, the buyer started to really step in once you got closer down to that range. And it also showed even with the sell imbalance on the market that you were getting strong upward pressure. So going into stocks, I'm going to go over the sector that I'm liking. I'm going to go over some of the memes as well for the boys, because I know you're wondering well, what's my meme going to do. And then we're going to go over how I'm trading going into tomorrow. So let's get into that. So first, I'm going to knock out the memes so everyone can get those in your pocket. I actually do have a position on one of these, so you'll see where I'm at right there. So you were trading on these channels, and I know it's a little bit messy, but all you really need to know is there's two key levels I've been watching. You have your one level right here, about 175. Your second level down here, about 164 to 162, give or take, right here. Those are your two major blocks of support. I'm going to go into AMC in a second, but looking at GME, you got rejected. You broke down, got rejected here. You sold off down. Sellers definitely stepped in and were pushing you down. I started buying near the end of the day right here, the same position over and over again, posting on Twitter as well. That's where I started buying was at the end of the day. Contracts were really cheap. I just liked it. Risk to reward. Uh, you've continued to win on GameStop. So that's just what I'm going to continue to do is making money on those day trades because it's just been extremely profitable. Now I'm looking for a bounce of this range again, 164, roughly down to 163. If you break below that, I'll just start to cut those trades. You know, I've won so many going on right now that I'm willing to ride this until it actually starts to break down. But we need to look at the borrowed shares as well. Now going into AMC, I want to look here and this 
this looks a little bit more interesting. What I will mention is that you are on the 200 EMA or moving average on the 200 day for the daily. That's where you're at right now. I don't have it pulled up, but it's worth mentioning that's where you're at. And you can look at that as well. Now, looking at the 15 minute chart, you've been below the ADMA for literally about a day and a half and you're pushing to the downside. So you want to start seeing a bounce. If I'm looking here, you did break below that 26.5 support. I had ranged here. One bounce, two bounce, almost three bounce. And you broke below right there. Now going into here, where's your next level? Uh, I'm looking and, and this has got to be where you expect you to start getting some love. You need to start seeing a bounce around the $24 region. Also making those higher lows as well. Continuously, you, you need to hold this range. That's what you need to hold. I believe very strongly. You could still continue up, but that's where you need to hold. Looking here, I have the GME position. I don't have the AMC position, uh, although I think AMC could probably make you more money if you get the balance. However, GME has been more predictable, and it's just been easier to trade for me personally. That's why I'm doing that. Now, we're looking at borrowed shares in the availability. Obviously, GME, this number has been rocketing up, and we've talked about this yesterday, what we wanted to see. Um, and, and you're seeing an increase in available shares up to the high of 800,000 available this morning, 22% bar, borrow fee. Borrow fee has now dropped to about... 12% flat and you're at 700,000 available going over to AMC. What you see there a little bit different, also kind of weird, basically no available shares with 1.5% of a fee. If you go to certain other trackers, you can look at borrowable shares on ETFs and AMC GameStop shares have drastically dropped there as well. Um, but the actual shares available have increased on GameStop, which is a little bit concerning. And that's not the greatest thing there. However, what I'm trading this on is purely based on technicals right now and seeing if you can still get momentum going into this. Because as of right now, holding you up $25, $25 on AMC, that's enough to keep the gamma rolling. Uh, GameStop, you're going to want to hold 170 180-ish in my opinion, going over to those contracts. But we'll have more answers near the end of the week. Let's go into the plays that I'm loving near the end of the week as well. Now, going into yesterday, there was two stocks I was talking about. I liked Robin Hood and I liked Baba. And this is how I would have played them. Now, you had your push down from Robin Hood from 1610. You hit roughly lows of 1440. You still have a little bit more range to go down to $14, but I would have started scaling out if you were in this. Just my opinion. Baba, the thing we're looking at here was this. I mentioned if you hold above these higher lows, you stay in it. You, you you let it run to the upside. If you break below and you hold below on the five minute under the ADMA, you get into it for the short side of the market. All day long, it pretty much held up until you had that massive push down. So if you wanted to, you could have got into it. But just the way it was playing out with the market, it just wasn't there. And you were already making money on Robin Hood if you were playing that one to the downside. There was just no reason to force the entry here. But either way, once it broke down, you would still be sitting profitable on this trade. The last one I did mention yesterday, I forgot to think about it, was BBIG. This is something I'm watching overall. As you broke above 315, it was extremely interesting, and it still has my interest. I have not entered a position here. Uh, but overall, I'm just continuing to watch it. What I did like was how you were respecting this level right here and you were holding that support at roughly 320. But as the market started to collapse underneath itself, you could see that BBIG followed. So I'm just watching this right now. I'd be looking for entries around 295 personally. But for right now, again, I'm just sitting on the sideline. Now, going into tomorrow and the next day, I'm looking at big caps. Those have my interest right now. I'm looking at Costco. I like Target. Those are my favorite kind of value stocks, if you will. And I have two other names that I'm going to like. They have a very nice profitability and risk reward on them. However, there's going to be more expensive contracts. But looking at Costco, you did end up breaking highs on the day. This is, you reached all-time highs today. Congratulations, Costco. And you can see you're pinching to go back to the upside. Now, how I'm looking at this is pretty specific, just so you know. What I'm looking at here is just for a 1% move. So how I'm trading this, I'd be looking to see if you're going to get a break above those local highs. If you start to break above those local highs, this is what you like to see. At the end of the day, you started seeing a volume increase down here. You started getting that pinch. You're sitting in here. So what you want to see is a break above this level here. Once you start breaking above this region, you're looking for entries laddering in. Once you break these highs, that's when you're confirmed. You're pressing up. Now, what you're looking for is a 1% move, in my opinion, on this. That's all I'm looking for. That's all I care about. And so what I did is I'm just looking about how you've moved from the last breaks of highs and how you've traded here. And if you go back and look, you're trading roughly 1% further to the upside. For instance, you broke the previous highs right here at 571. You shot up to 577, 576. Before that, you broke the highs here at 566. 
you ran up to roughly 571 continuing and that's just how you've been moving so i'm looking for a touch of roughly 582 583 that's where i'd be looking for for highs of 585 if you're really trying to push it and scale out that's how to be looking going into target i like these guys as well and i like the pattern they are holding right now you're holding the support and that's what you want to see can you hold in the support can you not break below it so if you start to come out tomorrow and you break below it like so you're not looking to trade this you'd be looking for more downside pressure towards that weekly the end so if you break below short the retest like this that's what you'd be looking for is for a push down for the downside of that weekly level something along these lines like so that's what you'd be looking for however what i'm looking for here and i think it's going to follow the same trend as costco is going to be a push and break of these this range right here of these lower highs you're making but also holding that support so what i imagine is going to happen is you're going to break up hold confirm and start pushing to one 223.5 maybe get rejected and start pushing closer to that monthly now i don't know if you want to hold for that long to take those risks but you start scaling out roughly at that 223 marker and slowly just chopping out of that position raising those stops as you go i love target as well it's been a good performer and i love the pattern setting out here now going into the end of the week i love amazon and i do think tesla has room but amazon's gonna be my baby here so tesla would be the second runner up but i love amazon in this range you are holding two key supports you have that low the low right here about 3308 and then also your 3320 range here and you're pushing up on the after hours so if you come out and you can break above vwap that's all i'm looking for a break above vwap and i believe tesla will start running to one 3370 and possibly if you can get the break on the spy of new highs you'll start pushing above 3400 flat and you'll start pushing back up into this range up here my runner up on the whole day is going to be apple you started to get a little bit of a push down at the end of the day your mouth is still in that five eight minute the eight ma on the five minute which is extremely bullish and they basically just announced they're about to become their own bank which is a video for its own self because apple is so extremely bullish and coming out with all new sorts of revenue schemes i think apple continues to hold the spy up and continues this trend you'll be targeting that 180 range on apple that's gonna wrap the video up if you got anything else like subscribe do what you gotta do the discord link is down below the twitter link is down below for all the content and remember one thing we're in the market i got no drip in my pocket must have forgot it or maybe i already lost it don't gotta